Today, here on Simply Syrups, it's all about figs. <laughs> Did you know that figs aren't really fruit? Well, they are, but by its nature, the fig is botanically a flower. Inside out flowers, if you will. You see, a fig starts off as a clump of tiny, tiny flowers trapped inside a fleshy stem. When those flowers are pollinated, they produce fruit. Inside the fig are actually many threads or individual fruit strands, each with its own seed. Here, I'm gonna show you. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, all these little flowers, these little strands. Yeah. Mm hmm that's good. And it's those seeds that give figs their signature crunch. Or is it? So, you gotta ask yourself, how does pollination occur when the only opening on the fig is the size of a pinhole? Well, a tiny insect, a special kind of creepy crawler <laughs> that's smaller than a gnat is the fig wasp. Basically, here's what happens. Female fig wasps lay their eggs in male figs, which are inedible but have male flowers. It's the female figs that are the ones we eat. The pregnant wasp enters the male fig and lays her eggs. The males hatch first and start looking for females to mate with, often while they're still in their eggs. Yikes! <laughs> Isn't there a name for that? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> they're smaller uh, than the females and don't even have wings. They will never fly. Most of the males die inside the fig that was their home all their lives. But some manage to bore a hole through the fig so the females can escape once they hatch. When the already pregnant females are born, they rub against the male flowers on their way out, covering themselves in pollen. And the cycle continues. The funny thing is though, the, the wasps can't differentiate between male and female figs. So once they enter a female fig, the pollen collected from the male fig rubs off their bodies and fertilizes the flowers. That causes the fig to swell up and ripen into the delicious fruit we eat. But here's the scary and well, somewhat sad part of this story. The female fig's flowers cannot support her eggs. The ovaries of those flowers are safely out of reach of the wasp and that's why she can't lay her eggs in them. When she enters a female fig, it's such a tight passage that she usually loses her wings and pieces of her antennae. They simply get ripped off as she goes inside. Having fulfilled her life's mission, she dies inside the fig. So yeah, not only are figs an incredible source of fiber, vitamins, and, and minerals such as iron, calcium, and potassium, you're probably getting some uh, wasp protein there too. Yeah! <laughs> Probably not though. Many commercially grown figs ripen into fruit all on their own. They're self-fertile. These include Black Mission, Kadota, Brown Turkey, and Adriatic figs. The one kind of fig that needs the wasp is the Calamirna variety. Like the kind you might find in your Fig Newton. Mmm. <laughs> Crispy critters. <laughs> Let's make a syrup. <laughs> I want to start by thanking Tom, Tom Rink actually. Um, he's one of my patrons and he suggested I make a fig syrup. So thanks Tom. We're going to start with uh, dried, whoa, get back here. <laughs> We're going to start with some dried uh, figs. Now you could make it with a uh, uh, fresh figs, uh, but they're a little bit different. The dried figs are going to be give you a, a darker, richer um, fig syrup than fresh. The fresh, however, it'll be lighter, lighter in color as well as taste, um, but it might give you maybe a, a much gentler syrup. So anyway, what I'm doing, I'm taking all these wonderful figs, these dried figs. Oh, and by the way, these are, these are Black Mission um, figs. So we probably won't get any of those 
little wasps in our fig syrup. <laughs> Just want to slice these up. And what I've got here is a, about a cup and a half. I don't know what, equate to about eight ounces, I guess, of uh, figs, dried figs. I guess that'd be like 223 and a half grams <laughs> of figs, dried figs. And the thing about uh, fresh, you're gonna have to use more. You probably end up having to use two, two and a half cups. That looks pretty good, actually. And we're going to uh, just drop this into our pot. Into our pot. <laughs> and everywhere else. Uh, yeah. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a little bit of vanilla. I've got a little vanilla bean here. It's a dried vanilla bean. Man, that's dry. You could use a vanilla extract. That would work equally as well. So I've got one vanilla bean, <laughs> one dried vanilla bean. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't know why that dried out so much. It smells delicious, by the way. So I guess if you were to use uh, uh, vanilla extract, you'd use like a, a, a teaspoon, okay? The next ingredient we're gonna add is some, well, I've got some turbinado uh, cane sugar here. Um, you could use brown sugar. Uh, that would work equally as well. Uh, I've got three quarter cup or 150 grams of turbinado sugar. Beauty. And some lemon. Uh, we don't want a lot of lemon. We want like uh, a teaspoon, just a little bit. That's lots. And water. I've got a cup of water, clean water, okay? Beauty. We're gonna combine all our ingredients. I guess we need some fire. There we go. So we just want like a medium heat here. And just bring this to a simmer. Dissolving all that sugar. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. It's almost there. <laughs> All those seeds are like popping up to the top. So you just stir occasionally until you bring it to that simmer. And once you get to the simmer, like I am now, we're gonna reduce our heat way, whoa. <laughs> Not that low. <laughs> Where's my lighter? Um, we're gonna reduce our heat too low. <laughs> there we go. I should get one of those electric ones one day. What do you think? That might be easier. I don't know. Anyway, um, we're just going to let this simmer on low, very low heat for like 15 minutes. So I'm going to refresh my drink and uh, I'll see you in 15 minutes, okay? Well, it's been 15 minutes now, and uh, I can smell the figs. I can smell the vanilla. And there goes our flame. Perfect timing. <laughs> Turn our stove off, and we're just gonna take this off, and uh, I think I'll put a lid on, and we're just gonna let it cool um, to room temp. I'll see you then. Well, it should be nice and cool by now. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, oh that's perfect. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, strain it into this uh, measuring cup here. As simple as that. Oh yeah, look at how rich that looks. That's beautiful. Mm. Oh, and here's one right here. Mm, mm. You don't want to throw these away. We're just going to squash them down a bit here with our spoon. 
You know, if you had a, uh, a food mill, which I do, <laughs> you could use a food mill and get, and, and I would think you'd extract a lot more flavor, but that's okay that we're doing it this way because it's, it's fast and dirty. I think I'm in. And like I said, you don't want to throw these away. All these uh, wonderful uh, figs here. Put them on your ice cream. Oh yeah. Put them on your uh, oatmeal in the morning. Or just, or just eat them. Like this. Okay, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I need to try some of this right off the bat. Cheers. <laughs> At least it didn't break. <laughs> Ooh, nice and rich and thick. I like it. Wow, that's delicious. That is really, really, really good. Mmm, picky. Okay, let's bottle it. We're just going to uh, fine strain it one more time uh, because there are some seeds going on there. Oh yeah, look at that color. It is rich and deep and wonderful. Drip, 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 drip. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Look at that. Look at that. So I think we should fortify it so we can get two to three weeks in the fridge. I'm going to use some brandy here. Yeah. We don't need a lot. You know, like uh, just like a half an ounce. Perfect. That's good. And uh, where's my lid? Right here. I think I need to taste it again because it is delicious. Yeah. Right here. That is so rich. That is really, really rich. Figgy. <laughs> so, um, in the very, very near future, we are going to make a wonderful cocktail. I don't know what that cocktail is yet. <laughs> I got some experimenting to do, uh, but I'm sure it's gonna be delightful, guaranteed. So in the meantime, make some fig syrup so you can follow along when we do do the cocktail you'll be ready to go yeah cheers ha thanks for watching if you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.